Hello there, I've got another very intriguing deal today to run through from a BBO duplicate Andrew Robson Bridge online. We're on BBO, we're also on Real Bridge for supervised practice morning and afternoon and then there are my daily bridge casts which I'm much enjoying filming. So do check all those things out now. Quite extraordinary deal this in a way. North one diamond, bit too strong to preempt really. Pass one spade showing the major. Now West hasn't really got anything to say at this point. If West doubles that's showing 4-4 four, four at least in hearts and clubs. So West's going to pass for now and plan to do a, a act next time. Two diamonds from north, not worth more. Partner having bid spades has not has not elevated the value of north's hand in any way. So just a minimum rebid, and south raising to three diamonds. Nice diamond fit, and now West makes a takeout double. And by not acting first and then acting. The message is clear. West is very well held in spades and also has a modicum of support for hearts and clubs. But if West just had hearts and clubs, West would have acted the first time with a takeout double. So the main suit West will have for the delayed action is South's spades. Now, North's going to boost it with four diamonds here because North has the extra offence in diamonds and doesn't particularly want east-west to get together. East is very happy to be out of it. South also passing. But west isn't done yet. West has a huge hand. Another takeout double. Partner, I've got a lot of good spades and some hearts and clubs as well. So what do you think east should do? Well definitely east should bid. That is a takeout double, no reason for East to leave it in with zero defence, and also pretty much a double fit in the majors, because West is bound to have five, maybe six spades, and probably four hearts. So East should bid four of a major. But which? Now the knee jerk bid is four hearts, but I think if East reflect more on West passing initially and then coming in with these two doubles, big, big spades, and also North boosting to four diamonds. There must be something interesting about North's shape. Avoid spade. It all starts to stack up. So if East bids four hearts, South's going to lead a spade. North's going to rough. That's not going to work. The way to stop the opponents from roughing a spade is to play in spades. So East bids four spades, which is rather clever when you think it through. But now we come to South. The last couple of bids have been quite interesting. Partner bidding four diamonds. No one asked partner to bid four diamonds. That's quite an unusual thing to do. And now East bidding four spades. It can mean only one thing. North's got a spade void. Now if North's got a spade void, the North-South hands are going to fit like gloves. Five diamonds should make. That doubleton heart is massive. Five diamonds, says South. Big swing, that bid. Four spades would have made, not four hearts on a spade lead, but four spades would have made. Five diamonds will also make. Such an innocuous start to this auction, and yet it's a double game swing deal. In other words, both sides can make game. Five diamonds can make, losing only two heart tricks, picking up the clubs by playing low to the jack, 
Do you think West can actually work out to bid five spades? I do. I do because I think West now knows North is void in spades. And so South probably doesn't have very good spades. And therefore... Five Dams is probably going to make. I mean, west of all the players knows north has a void spade. Almost as much as north knows they have a void spade. Because south has shown four card spades for the one spade. But west is looking at six card spades. East has bid four spades. East has done well to bid four spades from west's perspective with only three of them. I mean, north almost has minus one spade were such a thing to be possible. So should should West gamble on defeating five diamonds because of the ace king of hearts? It rather appears as though those will be the only two defensive tricks. So West is going to go five spades. Amazing, really, that this has turned into a five over five deal. Double. All South can do at this point. OK, so that is the contract. Five spades doubled, and that's the par result five diamonds would have made. Declara is East, who wasn't expecting to play a primary role on this deal, especially when it, the bidding started one diamond pass, one spade pass. You wouldn't think very often that East would be declaring five spades doubled. But East knows South has the four missing spades. So East can cross to the Queen of Hearts and pick up the spades via a marked finesse. King of Diamonds discard, just showing the diamonds there. Picking up the spades. But... There's not going to be a club trick for Declara. So this is going to go one down. As I say, par bridge with five diamonds making. Declara is making six spade tricks and four heart tricks. End. Nothing good's happening here for Declara. And North's going to win the last two tricks. But with five diamonds making, it's not such a great result here for North South to collect a meagre 100 points from five spades doubled. But fascinating, wasn't it? The auction got off to such a slow start and it built momentum slowly. Don't see deals like that every day. I hope you enjoyed it and I wonder what happened at your table, whether the momentum built from a similarly slow start. Hope you enjoyed the deal. See you very soon. Bye.